Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra unboxing and first impressions. Thanks to Samsung for sending this one out. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at what's in the box here. You'll see we do have the titanium color S24 Ultra and right away I could tell you it definitely looks premium. It definitely looks similar to the S23 Ultra, but it definitely has a more premium look if you ask me. Just a little bit more premium with the titanium build. Other than that, pretty similar. We'll do more of a comparison later. You'll see Samsung logo right there. And this is the kind of like the natural, the more natural titanium look here. Um, so you'll definitely want to go with the other colors if you're not into this, this color here. But you'll see we do have our triple camera set up there. We do have ourselves the volume marker right there. And if we get a little bit closer, you'll see the power button. I'm really digging this whole look here, this titanium look here. You'll see... USB-C right there, SIM card tray, thank you Samsung, we still have a SIM card tray, speaker grill, and we do have ourselves the S Pen. Now the S Pen is body colored, as you'll see right there, so it does match up pretty good. Same click that we're used to, and let's go ahead and do this once in a lifetime. You get to peel this thing off, let's see how it sounds. Oh, that was satisfying. And immediately what you're noticing is the more flatter screen here, for the Galaxy S24 Ultra. I'm really digging this flatter screen. I am so happy they went this route. I know some people are not. Some people think it doesn't look as premium. Um, but for me, I personally like it way more than even slight curves that I've seen on the S23 Ultra. And I think we have the new beast here. Um, I'm going to say it already. I, I probably don't even have the boot in yet. I can already tell there's going to be the new one of the new kings here of 2024. You can see definitely the flatter display. I don't know if you could see it there, but pretty noticeable. This is going to be mean super easy to put our screen protectors on. And supposedly this is a much more durable Gorilla Glass armor here on the front. So that's pretty neat as well. So while that's getting set up, let me cover a couple other things. This phone is actually giving you double the storage right now if you pre-order it. Um, so that's pretty cool. You can go to a 512 gigs. In the box here, they do include a charging cable. No charger in the box, um, but you do have a charging cable. But you probably won't even need one in the box because Samsung is actually throwing in a pre-order credit. So if you order this, you can get a charger for free um, with the pre-order. So it doesn't even matter that it's not in there because they're throwing one in. And they also have, like, they're also throwing in one of those trays where you can like put the or one of those wireless charging pads where you can put the phone, the watch, you know, all the business right on one charging pad so there's multiple options you can do there there's also some warranty guides in here as well as a sim card tool you'll see right there because we still have the sim card tool um so pretty clean pretty minimal and premium packaging here and you know the thing about the flat display though is that when you have the s pen you're also going to be able to go ahead and not have those interruptions when you go across and we are now in the samsung galaxy s 24 Ultra. The S24 Ultra is actually launching with 6.1 UI coupled on Android 14. So non-linear animations on board here. So this is going to mean very fast animations. I'm going to go ahead and do a, I'm going to also go ahead and do a speed test on this phone as well soon. But definitely this phone right here is going to be, man, it already feels like maybe the animations are slightly better than the One UI 6 version. So I'll have to double confirm that in the actual review, but looking pretty good. Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 on board means the fastest CPU in the business as well, so you definitely have that. And 12 gigs of RAM, which isn't the highest out there, but you can definitely, uh, you definitely won't need much because this phone is already really optimized very well and everything's gonna run very nicely here. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the wallpapers here on board for the S24 Ultra that come right out of the box. I always like to take a look at those in my unboxing first impression videos. I usually like the ones they give. So you can see right here, we do have interactive wallpapers. If I go ahead and go back here, and I know there's no gesture at the moment, but I'll have that on in the future videos. You'll see right there. So basically you're gonna get a wallpaper color for essentially whatever phone color you chose. Um, that's pretty nice. I still wish they would throw a little bit more, but these are quite nice wallpapers this year for sure. I kind of like the whole titanium build and then you got this like wallpaper that matches it up really well. 
Let's go down here to the creative one. So you're gonna get some generative AI based wallpapers now because of Galaxy AI. But you're actually gonna get some generative wallpapers here as well because of the AI that's built into this phone. So this is a really nice touch. So they don't really have to add many of their own because you can just generate them here. So in the graphical wallpapers, they have that one right there. I didn't see that one in the previous phone. So that's pretty nice. So yeah, that's good. Um, down in advanced features, we should have pretty much the similar features that we would find in the, the other phone that we had before, the S23 Ultra. So you'll have multi-windows and stuff like that, motion and gestures, all that stuff really pretty similar here. So if you've had Samsung before, this is not going to be incredibly different to you. But more advanced intelligence here, so we're going to have more AI stuff here. Um, you have an interpreter, you can live translate. Um, different languages right in the phone call, real-time translation in the phone call. That is a huge deal, I would say. You can get simple summaries from your internet browser. Um, so a lot going on here. And you kind of already had AI stuff in the camera, but it's getting even better in this one. And speaking of the camera, we still retain uh, 10 times zoom, but it does it um, via the optical. So they're, um, they kind of mix the AI and the optical to continue to give you that 10 times. But the five times is the actual lens, and man, does that photo look gorgeous. Wow. Look at the detail. I'm already going to tell you, this one's going to be top of the game for sure. I actually kind of like the 5X because I think 10 times is too far for practicality purposes, but the fact that they still are going to give you the combination of AI and the five times is still going to retain a similar quality level is pretty good. You also still retain the 100 times zoom, so I'm glad that that's still here. Also over here in the megapixel count, you could change it to 200 megapixels if you really need to do that. So one of the highest megapixel counts in the business. And if we go over here to more, you're going to see all of the features that you're kind of used to from Samsung. Very nice. Um, if they could improve, let's go over here. Is there anything they can improve? Let's see 8K. Well, we can do 8K 60, but that's kind of pointless at this moment. We have UHD 60 on the rear. And then on the front, we can also do UHD 60, so very good camera. Not even, I don't even think the OnePlus 12 does one uh, UHD 60, so this is definitely a top dog in the Android space. You have the super steady mode, and I like how all the settings are easily laid out. Also, I think Samsung does one of the best pro modes in the business here, so if you like to do a pro video or a pro photo, all of your exposure settings, everything feels like a pro camera. I really like that about this, especially if you wanna use your phone for everything. You can even monitor your audio and see your histogram over here. So a lot going on in the area of camera if you wanna take it a little bit more professional. But if you don't wanna do that and you just wanna rely on the phone itself, you can do that. The focus enhancer was already here before, but it retains. Of course, in the settings, if you go back, oh, let's go in the settings here. If you go down, there's like um, more advanced video options. You can zoom in on the mic and stuff like that. You could do that before as well. But there was like an area, where is it, that shows the AI stuff. I think it's, um, where is it at? Intelligent, It's I think it's this one right here, the intelligent optimizations. But you can change a lot here. And um, we'll, we'll dive more in. I gotta, I gotta play with it more, dive in a little bit more to give you more of the AI uh, review here. This is just my first initial video, so be patient with me on that one. But overall, it's looking snappy, feeling very good. From a display perspective, we are looking at a dynamic AMOLED LTPO display. This does get to a new 2600 nits of brightness. Now, the actual usable brightness is right here. If you go into settings, turn off adaptive, turn off, turn on extra brightness, and you get even more. So incredibly bright. And the 6.8 inch display is 505 density. So it's incredibly tack sharp over here. And um, overall, you know, it's gonna be tough to beat this in terms of usable nitage. Um, this definitely has some of the most usable nits of brightness on any smartphone out there, especially due to Samsung including this extra brightness mode. Now be careful with this at nighttime. This thing will sear your eyeballs at nighttime. So you want adaptive, you want eye comfort at night. Make sure you got those on if you are rocking this out at night. It also defaults to full HD plus out of the box for battery saving. So you do wanna turn on QHD plus to improve that if you do decide to pick this one up. Okay, so we are looking at a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. Now, I wish they would have went a little bit bigger, so this is an improvement they can do on the next phone. They can make a bigger battery, maybe go 5,500 milliamp, something like that. Give us a little bit more, uh, especially at this price, I would like to see more uh, battery life, but 
overall, you know, with its Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 efficiency, it's 12 gigs of RAM, Samsung really working on the One UI experience. I expect the battery to be very good, regardless of the fact that it's not the biggest battery on a phone today. But I think being the stature and the size of this product right here, I do think they could, you know, find a way to put a little bit bigger cell in there, even if that means slightly more weight. And speaking of the weight, it weighs around 232 grams. Um, it's still got some heft to it. This is not your light regular. They got the regular S24 and S24 Plus if you want the super light stuff. This is for the power user right here. So that's my initial take on the battery. I'll have to actually test it to see how it does. I'm pretty sure it's going to be better than the 15 Pro Max. Um, but I want to see how it does against like the OnePlus 12 and stuff like that. So, um, But definitely it's looking like it's going to be maybe even better than the S23 Ultra because it does have a uh, 5,000 milliamp, but with the Snapdragon 8 and HN3, which is more efficient than our already efficient HN2. Samsung DeX on board. And um, that's about it. We don't really got to talk about much more. I do want to give you some closer up looks though before we get up out of here. You'll see there is the... Um, camera bumps they're very they're not that big they're not that bad and I like how clean they look I like how they separated them um, definitely you can tell which lens is which uh, you can see right there there's a 5g antenna I just want to give you more close-up looks so you know what you're getting some of you might be actually getting this phone in the mail today um, some of them are already shipping out I've seen some articles about that and some people saying in the comments that their s24 ultra is coming today um, so good luck with that hopefully you get yours today and you can see antenna line right there Let's go ahead and turn this back on. Let's get a good look at that flat display so you kind of know what you're getting here. Definitely flat. There is no type of curvature happening really here whatsoever. You'll see there is the uh, punch hole camera up there. And really this, this is refinement and polish. This is Samsung doing what Samsung does best, but just doing it at the top level that they've ever done it before. I do think it's time for the next one to go to a little bit of a change in look. This is kind of similar to the last two, um, but just an AI version of it. So I would like to see Samsung change the design on the next one. But overall, you know, I'm very happy to recommend this one. I think it's gonna be very good. And being somebody who loved the S23 Ultra last year, I still don't see a lot of phones beating this this year. So they got their work cut out for them this year. Um, these these Android phones are really stepping it up this year, and Samsung is uh, and Samsung is basically leading the charge here. So let me know what you want to see on this one. I will be comparing this to some other phones. I also have my own S24 Ultra that I personally pre-ordered. This one's from Samsung, so thank you for Sa Samsung for sending this one out. Um, so stay tuned. I will be covering um, those uh, those uh, comparisons soon, so you can see the speed and all that good stuff. And uh, let me know what you want to see before I do my full review. I'm going to take a, a little bit of while with this one. I'm going to give it like two, three weeks. Uh, use it for real before I give you a true review. But if you want to get it on pre-order now, which is the best time to get it with deals and trade-ins, up to $750 off on this baby. It's available on all carriers and unlocked. And you're getting a credit after that to get some free accessories. So it's definitely the time to cop one of these if you want a really good deal. Um, on this one. So thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Nick here. Be sure to be well and peace.